Okay, this is the exterior video review for the 1965 Gillig Schoolie. In the front here you got the three-point receiver hitch which would let you build a very sturdy uh, deck for hauling quads or whatever you want on the front of this. Um, air wipers last I drove it both worked you've got a nice access panel for all the fuse bus and wiring right in here power steering uh, air brake control throttle linkage all of that this is a good driving bus runs real good yeah, that and that and, uh, all that stuff so does need a fresh paint job obviously and for an old rig it's in reasonable condition uh, this piece of glass needs to be replaced this piece of glass needs to be replaced those are good I was going to block off some of those windows but I guess that will be up to you of course the body has some signs of wear from its age some of it's been stabilized some of it needs to be redone as you can see here the tread depth is reasonable but uh, would recommend fresh tires just par for course uh, actually, all of the treads on this rig are pretty good. It recently made a 200-mile trip without problem. Um, that's your spare. It has a bit of a chunk out of it. This used to be one of the drivers, but I had to put the spare on, which has thin treads. So you have thin tread on one wheel. We'll get to that. Now... What this does have is the solar battery maintainer with a uh, like 1300 farad uh, Maxwell ultra capacitor in the start circuit. Now what that does is that ensures that pretty much no matter what you can start this rig. You can charge this capacitor up just with the solar panel. It will take it some time. End of the day, you can hit that start button and that ultra capacitor will spin that engine like happy, happy, as you saw in the other video uh, where I started it for the first time in six months. Now we have an older battery that I use to help hold charge on it there that the solar panel maintains and keeps full. Uh, this combination right here is sufficient to happily start this bus. Uh, can't stress the advantage of having an ultra capacitor in the start circuit enough. It's like a $700 device right there that ensures the starter gets amazing voltage and current that it needs to turn over this 12 liter engine. You got your main power switch here for turning on the electrical, turning off the electrical. This is a bypass oil filter, so this rig actually has its own oil filtration system on it. This is an ultra-fine filter that basically refines the oil and filters it down to an extremely small particulate uh, and, and recirculates that oil back into the engine. Then you've got your oil fill tube, you've got your fuel filter, uh, you've got your power steering. There you have your oil filter canister. There's the fuel tank in there. Not sure it's capacity, probably 100 gallons. It's pretty good size. It's longer than a 55 gallon drum anyway, maybe 80 gallons, I don't know. Uh, I'm sure it's in the specifications. It has been upgraded with a uh, nice beefy modern like uh, 200 amp whatever heavy duty biggest I could get alternator um, going on back of course 
Oh yeah, you've got a little bit of a whoop -de in this side where it got, I think, caught on a stump, letting other people drive it. Um, okay, here's your fuel door. Um, step back and look up the side. It's got a nice rain gutter down along this whole edge. You could do rainwater collection if you wanted. All right, now here's the thin tread. That one is quite thin. Um, this was the spare until that one spitted chunks. But you can see the inner has pretty respectable tread, so it's it's safe to make it a trip to the workshop that's going to give it the TLC that it's ne it needs. All right, a little bit of the repair that needs to be done. All right, all that stuff. Okay, Oops, let me get rid of these guys. Oh. Boy, they're quick. <laughs> All right, here you have the trunk space, which is sufficient. Uh, actually, it's ginormous, sufficient for most of the bus's systems. Uh, it has this freshwater tank, needs to be installed. Has this frame mount propane tank, needs to be installed. Has uh, its uh, water pump that goes with the tank. A little bit of spare antifreeze. Uh, and a nice 50 ton mechanical jack here in case you gotta change a tire on the road. Uh, I, uh, yeah, it has a stinger and a two inch ball, drain hose, a little bit of electrical. This is the door that goes to that other side that got caught on the stump. It uh, needs some TLC. All right, it has been wired with a trailer brake controller and uh what is this here uh five point uh, yeah five point six point connector you got this super beefy flush mount flush mount um class three plus receiver hitch this thing is pretty seriously attached There it is, where it attaches. It's welded across the frame. It has a nice beam and spanner. It's all triangulated in. That will pull a good trailer. Also, you have this ginormous black water tank that is fully plumbed into the commode. So the toilet works. You got a massive gray water tank and a fancy chrome exhaust tip. All right, so moving along. You've got the rear hatch here through which you can uh, <laughs> load a hang glider or airplane wings like I have done. It shuts pretty reasonably. Of course, everything here in the Northwest needs regular oiling, right? All right, just general condition sweep. Oh, the windows have uh, a squeegee to them just with a little bit of uh, Windex and a touch of Elmer's glue in it. It has uh, Mylar on the windows, which helps increase their R factor and privacy. Here you have your drain for the gray and black water. Everything Everything has valves and is properly done. All right, here's the other two tires, reasonably meaty. Enough to drive to and fro in their condition. In here you have your air filter. This is your emergency door. Also your cargo side loading door to the Big openness that this thing has. That's a working toilet. That's a working wood cook stove. That's a working clothes dryer. Uh, and that's a really nice galley with a working propane stove. 
Uh, all right, now this behind door number three right here, you have your engine. It has the air brake or the exhaust uh, butterfly brake. Uh, it has a silencer in the intake. It has a start circuit system here that injects fuel, vaporizes it with a heating element, make it a little easier to start in the winter, but with that ultra capacitor, you know what, it just starts awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. <laughs> There's the cooling fan. Let's take a look at the condition of the belt. Yeah, pretty happy looking belt. Yeah, pretty happy looking belt. Can I see that one? Doesn't look too bad either. All right, injection pump. Cummins 220. It's fuller five speed. Yeah, that one. All of that. There's your shifter. Exhaust. Driveline catch. Rear pumpkin and air brakes. All of that stuff seems pretty good. All of that stuff seems pretty good. Oh, this is a uh, electric water heater to help keep the engine warm. In the winter make it easier to start good old school district tech back when the school districts actually were provided some money all right this is the coolant fill and the uh, louvered thermostatically controlled uh, uh, radiator coolant Okay, finishing up, we got the front wheel here. Again, reasonably meaty tire, but standard service. Okay. Oh, and it has a working air conditioning unit on the top up there. Boom. And I can give you a view behind the bumper here. Right up in there. See how that's built. Oh, yeah, right there. Boom. Very, very well built. Under all of that. Exterior condition appearance, power steering, yeah. box, happy, happy. In here, the other video gives you a thorough review of it in here, but let's show you the, the goodie box that comes with it. You have... Bus parts, lenses, spotlight, gasket, seals to the bus, spare filter, extra fresh hose there, pieces, nuts, bolts to the bus, air hose, brake light fluid, basic tools, roll of duct tape, safety, uh, safety flares, um, more fuel filters, oil filters, and things. Uh, it's got a fuel pump down in there. That's pump down in there, right there. Uh, index. Oh, this pipe right here is the lug wrench. Nice big trucker style cheater bar lug wrench. And you got a jug of oil and jug of coolant. Propane bottle. Cooks don't over that one. Spectrum was rattling when this thing was running. All right, there we have it. Uh, yeah, kids sleeping. I can't start this for you right now.